Start learning. Define a function name switch setup to initialize the LED objects. Define a function name switch that takes two parameters. Define a function name set all switch off to turn off all the LED lights. Run the program. Start learning. Create a tonal buzzer object and connect it to GPL pin 18 of the Raspberry Pi. Define an array named Happy Birthday Song to store the information of the song Happy Birthday. Define a function named Play to Play Music. Run the program. Start learning. Define a function named set angle. Control the servo motor by specifying the channel. Define a function named test to test the servo motor. On the specified channel. First for loop. Rotate the servo motor from 0 degrees to 180 degrees. Incrementing the angle by 1 degree each time. Add a delay of 0.01 seconds after each increment. After completing the rotation. Pause for 0.5 seconds. Second for loop. Rotate the servo motor from 180 degrees to 0 degrees. Decrementing the angle by 1 degree each time. Run the program. Start learning. This function is used to map the motor speed from the range of 0 to 100 to the range of 0 to 1.0 as the throttle value for setting the motor speed in the Adafruit motor library ranges from 0 to 1.0. A function named motor is defined. It controls the motor to run. A function named motor stop is defined to stop all motors. Run the program. Start learning. Define a class named the deep SPI LED pixel that inherits from threading thread, indicating that it is a thread class used to control LED pixel lights. Try to open the SPI device. Turn off all LED lights and close the SPI connection. Set the number of LED lights and initialize the LED color and LED original color lists. Call the set LED pixel method. To set the color data of a single LED light, set the color data of a single LED light by passing in a color list. The breath processing method implements the core logic of the breathing light when the light mode is set to breath. It enters a loop. Run the program. Start learning. Define a function named checklist to obtain the distance detected by the ultrasonic sensor. In an infinite loop, continuously call the checklist function to obtain the distance value from the ultrasonic sensor. Then output the distance value. Run the program. Start learning. Three input device objects named left, middle, and right are created. The run function reads the voltage level states 0 for low level and 1 for high level of the sensors connected to the line pin left, line pin middle, and line pin right pins. Run the program. Start learning. Create an OLED object. Load the default font object for drawing text on the OLED display. Create an image object. The mode 1 indicates the monochrome image. Obtain the current date and time. Use the draw text method to draw text. Run the program. Start learning. Create an ADS7830 object. The default I2C address of the ADS7830 chip is 0x48. Create an analog in object named Chang0. To read the analog input value of channel 0 of the ADS7830, 
which is the channel connected to the battery voltage, run the program. Start learning. Create an instance of the MPU6050 class and set the address on the I2C bus to 0x68. Define a function named MPU6050 test. The function's purpose is to obtain the acceleration data from the MPU6050 sensor and calculate the average of the data over a period of time. Run the program. 